Hey guys, how you doing? This is Manga Section. I'm here today to bring a review for my Hero Academia Manga Chapter 152, I do believe it was. Uh, regardless of the number, you know, it will be in the title, so you know, the, at least the title is correct, but I'm saying it wrong. But right off the bat, we find out about the, we find out about the bullets. Now, now, these are the quite taken bullets. We you know we've seen them previously used on Sunny, uh, and that was only a temporary thing, but we find out that they have now perfected the bullet it can now take away quirks forever and we find out a little bit like you know the time frame it takes to make these bullets and we just basically learn that they're rare because they don't have the resources to um to um to manufacture it quickly so right after that we're told all right rare bullets can't miss a single shot every bullet is important so the tension is really starting to build up from there. So we have the guy with the gun, and he's like, all right, cool, I can't waste a single bullet. I need to make every shot count. I need to hit him on this first shot. And now he's thinking of a way how he can do it. And the plan that he comes out with is to shoot every Chan. And now this is where my small, very, very small problem with the chapter is. And now I could be making a mistake here, but regardless, if I am making a mistake or not, there is a small problem. This is where I could be making a mistake. I am pretty sure Miri knows that they use every chance blood to make this bullet. Now, granted, he may have not known if he was getting fired with a quite taken bullet or just a normal bullet in general, but I'm pretty sure he knows that they use every chance blood to do this. So simply for the fact that she every chance ended up with a gun pointed at at her i feel like me we should have known they're not going to they're not going to kill her therefore she's fine and like you know he didn't have to hop in and save her kind of vibe like then like i could be wrong i could be mistaken but i feel like he should have known for a fact that they weren't going to kill her so that she was technically insane and I know maybe you know heat of the moment, so he might have forgot all of this, or you know he might have just been thinking, wow, maybe they don't need her no more. Maybe they are willing to kill her, and that's why he hopped in. But I do think there's just a little bit of problems there. But regardless of that, let's just put that to the side and let's say like he had to legitimately hop in there and save him. Now this whole dive where he had we have him diving in there. Yes, it adds to the suspense of the chapter because you're like, oh my gosh, what's he gonna do? Is he gonna find a way to save her and and dodge the bullet, or is he gonna get hit? Now, again, I have a problem with this because we've seen me be on a many occasions speed blitz and you know just into the ground, out of the ground, up the ground, all that madness. So I feel like the whole fact that we see him diving. And, you know, just him did the day for a period of time should not have happened. It should have just been got her, gone if if need be, or you know, like like you know, speed this to her, you know, grabbed her, protect her, you know, whatever, and then you know, let the bullet pass through, whatever. But yeah, there, there was that as well. But there was, so there was that, and there was a slight problem with it, but it did just, it did build to the suspense where we had the bullet just traveling and thinking, oh my gosh, is this going to hit? And now I can't remember if it happened during the bullet traveling, but there was a flashback with me, Ryu, and I really like this flashback because it really just builds on me Ryu as a character, and it just really builds on on just how much he worked so hard to become the guy that he he is today and it was during this reading of the flashback where i started to think to myself oh my gosh wait hold on are they gonna kill him off i started to see <coughs> red flags all over the place and i was thinking to myself oh, are they actually going to kill him off and yeah the, like the, to see this whole flashback was the first thing but it just really does hammer in like he has worked hard because to master his quirk, because even his dad, who we see in this chapter, who we find out had the same quirk as me and you, he gave up 
on becoming a hero because he couldn't hack he couldn't hack the quiet for himself. So maybe for me within this chapter I became someone who who's great, who's a great person altogether because he worked hard to get to where he is. I describe him as a hard worker because you know Naruto is a very, very perfect example of, of, um, of an anime of this where you have the genius and the hard worker. Now for me personally I see it as Miri as a hard worker who was given a genius technique. That's just that's just how I see it now. He, he's that great because Miri, Miri for the next symbol of peace Forget the no, I don't I don't I don't dislike my boy Deku but right now it's just all about me really. because when you got hit with the bullet when I was like oh my gosh okay it's quite close I was like all right cool we need to get him a, <laughs> we need to get him a quirk <laughs> I was thinking it's time for Deku to just step aside give give me me um not one for all and it's just, yeah, because I was thinking, because me, we can't stay quirkless, but regardless of that, you know, the flashback, you know, just brought on the whole vibe, my whole vibe for, um, for me, me, me. but once he got hit with the bullet and he was like, quirkless, I was like, oh my gosh, this is over now, and then it wasn't over, he actually still continued to, to continue the fight without his quirk. And this is where I was starting to think, oh my gosh, he's about, like, another red flag for me. Like, oh my gosh, is he going to die? Because we find out he carried on this quick fight. We learned that he continued two thirds of the fight without a quirk. And then you see him, and he's like, really, just, just battered. And it seemed like you know, he was on his last leg. And it seemed like it was going to be an exchange of final blows. Well, I thought, oh my gosh. He was going to he was going to die. And I think that him dying could actually be a good move because I think the audience would feel it because there's a different one piece that I was I I personally felt like the audience couldn't feel, but you know, this is not a one piece discussion, this he really but I think that the audience could would feel it for his death because he's been a likable character you've learned a lot about him, you know, so, like, you know where he's coming from, you can feel for where he's coming from, and for him to die a hero, you'd be like, yeah, he deserved to go out that way, and it could also be good for Deku, because I reckon it could also be good for Deku's development as a character, just to go through this, and, like, again, he knows a bit about, um, for me, we, where he's coming from as well, so that would probably motivate him to be a better hero. So I reckon it could be good for good from that standpoint as well. So him dying, I don't think would be such um, a bad thing, and I'm, I've lost my thought now. <laughs> but yeah, but um, the end of the chapter is Deku hopping in there, so he's gonna join the fight now. You know, everything's um caught back up to speed because we knew that this was happening while Deku and the company were doing their thing. So now everything that's everything is that now that everything is all caught up, where could things go from here? You know, Deku was with Serna and all them. So we do have a lot of heroes now present. But regardless of that, we have Miri who got hit by a bullet. So now he is in fact quirkless. So where do we go from here? I personally want him to get his quirk back, but if you know, if we simply just give him his quirk back, I'm like, nah, cop out, what was the point of these bullets, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> not me personally, but there probably will be people out there like that who just feel this kind of way about it, so I think I've said everything that I want to say about this chapter, I'm going to give this chapter a four star rating according to that course. That's a must for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. But most importantly, take care. Have a nice day.